Hey guys, welcome to MNMMPT Nati. Today's video is definitely one of the most important videos that every student who wants to give PT academics should watch properly and take notes maybe if possible and then understand every single thing that I'm about to share. So let us start and understand what are these most recent PT changes. So first things first, I want to share and that is that these changes as of now are only for PT academic. There are no changes for PT core as of now. We are not sure if anything is coming up in the future, but whatever changes have come up as of now, I will share in today's video. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want to share about over here is which topics will be affected or what are the changes, you know, what topics will have these changes. So out of all the topics that you have in your PT academic, all the 20 topics that you have in your PT academic, only two of them will have these changes and they are describe image and retail lecture, which means all the other 18 topics of your PT academic exam are exactly the same and there are no changes in those 18 topics as of now. This is only for describe image and retail lecture okay now the changes will come from november 4 2024 which is in a few days time so if your exam is before november 4 2024 you don't need to worry about these changes but if you want to give your exam after november 4 2024 then yes you need to understand about these changes now let's understand in detail what are the changes so we all know that this PT academic exam is actually checked by AI, artificial intelligence. The entire exam is checked by AI, right? But from now on, as in from November 4, 2024, what will happen is two topics, describe image and retail lecture, will be checked by human. Now, when I say will be checked by human, what I'm trying to say is the content, only the content part of describe image and retail lecture will be checked by human. So fluency, pronunciation, accent will still be checked by AI, artificial intelligence, but the content part will be checked by a human. So that is what you need to understand. So there is no need to make any changes in terms of your fluency, in terms of your style of speaking, in terms of your clarity, which is your pronunciation and your accent, because all that is still the same. No need to make any changes there. But yes, we will discuss some changes about content because that is now checked by a human. So you have to understand the difference over here. Now, the next thing we need to understand is when the content is checked by the human and if content gets zero, the human gives you a zero for the content, then the fluency and pronunciation will also become zero. Now, all this information that I'm sharing, it is actually out there in the Pearson's official website. All this information is from that place. And if you want to go through all this information on Pearson's website, the official website, the link is in the description below. You can click on the link, go through the content, and you will understand what I'm trying to share over here. All right. Now, the next thing we've understood there are changes. First things first, please don't panic. Please, please stay calm because these are very minor changes. Yes, there are changes and changes are never easy. It is sometimes difficult to adapt changes, but panicking, stressing is never the solution. Let us discuss what can be done so that we can, you know, actually tackle this situation and we can finish our exams and we can get our desired scores. Okay. So there are a few suggestions that you have to write down because you will have to use it. And these suggestions are actually from Pearson. Now, first things first, speak for 30 to 40 seconds. Now, you know that you get 40 seconds of answering time, both for retail lecture and for describe image. Sometimes you might be speaking only for 20 seconds or maybe less than 20 seconds or maybe 25 seconds or anything less than 30 seconds. Okay. According to Pearson, that is not enough content that you are giving to the giving to them to give you marks. So, just keep in mind that now onwards, when you speak, as in from November 4, obviously, when this is changing, speak for minimum 30 seconds or speak for a little more than 30 seconds, anything between 30 to 40 seconds. Please don't speak for less than 30 seconds. That is number one thing that you have to keep in mind. Second thing is speak content from the image or lecture in case of retail lecture. So what I'm trying to say over here is, 
the reason these changes have come is because a lot of time there are a lot of templates out there whether it is for retail lecture or for describe image where the it is all about template and there is actually no content in the template that is why Pearson has introduced these changes because they want to make sure that when a student is answering the content they deliver is actually relevant to, to the image that is on the screen to the lecture that was played for the student so if you go there and just speak template or if you speak something which has like majority of the template and there is very less content then in which case you'll have problem and you will not get your desired score so this is what you need to understand now Pearson has also said that if there are numbers on image or any image that you get in the exam if there's numbers written on those image try to describe those numbers because they are very important so that should be your target that okay numbers are there I need to describe it because that will give you a good score next is don't just speak keywords for retail lecture I have seen many students they will just write down keywords from the audio that was played and they will just speak the uh, keywords out there don't do that for example our template we at least recommend students to take 10 phrases from the audio minimum 10 phrases from the audio and that is what Pearson is now saying they have specifically mentioned the word phrases that you have to take at least phrases if you take sentences that is great but phrases is what at least you know that is the minimum expectation that they have if you take keywords then that is not going to give you your desired score so take phrases phrases means group of words that you will write from the audio okay so that is what we teach in our template to our students that write down minimum 10 phrases from the audio so that when you speak your retail lecture not only there is template but there is actually a lot of content which is needed so that they can give you your desired score okay another thing that you need to keep in mind is just because we have to speak a lot of content for retail lecture or we have to speak a lot of content for describe image grammar rules are still the same grammar still does not matter for these two questions i'm not talking about any other questions right now i'm only talking about describe image and retail lecture so when you deliver content when you write something from the lecture do not focus on grammar it is not important that is what i teach my students that when you write down the phrases in retail lecture don't worry about your grammar don't worry about your grammatical errors just write down phrases from the audio we need to deliver a lot of phrases and that's how you get your desired score so again no focus on grammar now what not to do you have a lot of pre-memorized templates out there okay there are so many templates available for describe image and retail lecture and these templates have very less content just speaking the template or speaking a template which has absolutely no content or very less content is not something you should be doing from now on for example there are many templates out there that Pearson has recognized like for example I can see this I can see that there's a beautiful image in front of me and I have to speak for 30 seconds something like that these sort of you know templates or I think my time is up I need to stop talking thank you so these sort of things that are absolutely not relevant with the image or if you speak this in retail lecture they are absolutely not related with the lecture this will be picked up by AI now so what happens is you need to understand so this is something you shouldn't be doing speaking something that is that has no relation with the content given to you with the image given to you with the lecture given to you you shouldn't be talking about it so I have a suggestion for all of you just understand something okay PT academic exam every single day thousands and thousands of students are appearing for this test from different countries all across the world okay now if you imagine it is not possible to check every single describe image or retail lecture by a human because there are so many questions and so many students giving exam every single day and Pearson has also said that there will be no delay in terms of releasing the exam results which means the results will come out as they were coming out earlier but now there is a human involvement as well so you have to understand one thing that how will things change when the AI software the, the artificial intelligence when artificial intelligence will pick up these things you know 
that a student has spoken something that has no relation with the image like i can see a beautiful picture in front of me i have to speak for 30 seconds i can see this i can see that i can see this thank you so much for your time because i have my i have to end my talk because my time is up all these things when you speak artificial intelligence obviously is smart it will pick it up and then it will flag it it will flag it and that's when the human will come into the picture and then the human can check this is what makes sense but can you imagine that human uh, the human being has to check every single retail lecture every single describe image for every single student that gives the test not possible very very difficult so so that your quest your answers or your responses are not flagged by ai to the human being i would suggest try to include a lot of content in your uh, describe image responses and retail lecture responses and very less content so that it doesn't get flagged now obviously these things are only on paper and websites as of now it has not been released yet so there has no student or no no one who has actually experienced this so manmohit and myself we have decided to give the exam after 4th of november so that we we go there we see what is happening how are these changes actually working we give our responses we look at our scores and then we can help you in the best possible way but yes again i would say just relax calm down yes there are some changes in these two topics but other 18 topics are still the same you can for now if you want if you want to give your exam a little like a few days after 4th of november maybe just focus on other 18 topics for now just prepare them and these two topics obviously we will update you with what changes have been released how is it affecting the scores and just stay tuned i would say uh, and then yes obviously once we give the exam once we have the results we will definitely share our experience with all of you and if there is any amendment needed we will do it and we will share it with you again so that we can help all of you to get your desired scores all the best